campaign is rarely one-sided, split down the middle. Family for 12-year-old David Cardenas now lives with reopened wounds. Fresh pain fills their hearts. It was apparent as they walked up to face their boy's killer. 12-year-old Cardenas didn't deserve to die. The now 38-year-old Pablo Lucio Vasquez did, according to state law. The witnesses on the victim side uh, were just very stoic. Uh, there was not much reaction at all. Uh, they just stared straight ahead. Inside here, rooms were divided. The victim's family watched a lethal injection from a room on the left. The killer's family from a room on the right. A chaplain stood at Vasquez's feet. Objective witnesses, like Channel 5 News, can't choose which room they go to. Administration put us with Vasquez's family. Initially, he was staring straight ahead at the microphone, not looking over at the victim's uh, witnesses, but after a moment, he did turn. While a chaplain packed a car with Vasquez's belongings outside the prison, his two cousins held each other tightly inside. Vasquez thanked his mother and his father who were not there to hear his words. Uh, before his formal last statement, he did say that he was sorry. 6.09 p.m. Vasquez begins his statement. It says, it's time. He says, you got your justice and apologizes to the victim's family. 6.10. His cousins say, I love you against the glass and make hearts with their hands. 6.11. The lethal dose begins. 6.35, the lethal injection process is over. What little strength the cousins had is gone. They cry and hold each other while another chaplain offers comfort. Even earlier in the day, he had expressed remorse uh, over the crime uh, and, and was trying to uh, figure out how exactly he would say that to the family. The silence of the walk back was deafening. Pain wrapped each family like a blanket. The impact of one man's crime left its marks on two families, and that didn't stop at six tonight.